blessings, everybody. I want to share a word real quick about the first things first. You know, before you can go to church and change, you have to make a conscious decision that something is wrong. You know, what's your way of thinking and the way that you operate and do things. You know, because before I uh, started to go to church, I quit drinking and stuff, so it really gave me time to really just sit back and reflect on how uh, foul I was living, you know, by thinking I could possess life by dealing in death. You know, and once I recognized that, my, men my mentality changed as well as my mental way of thinking, and then my character changed. I've always been a person of integrity. You know, even when I was in the streets, I did it with a spirit of excellence. So now I'm in Christ, and I'm even doing it on a whole nother different level of excellence. So, <laughs> but people, they get it wrong by telling people, oh, if you come to church, oh, your whole life going to change. That's a lie from the pits of hell. You know, because you're going to run into more devils at church than you running in the streets. Because it's like, at least in the streets, you know how people get down. You know, but in the church, you expecting people to be of a different standards. You know, uh, somebody that's living according to um, what they profess. But I'm here to tell you, that's a lie from the pits of hell. So once you start getting in your mind that you need to change, that's when change is going to take place. So then you're going to start um, getting into the word of God and praying and fasting. This is if you have some solid people around you that have changed and you have uh, a kingdom minded pastor, not just a pastor with a title you know, standing up before the people, you know, because I'm telling you, it means something to have kingdom people in your life. Those who have um, allowed Christ to attend their life, not somebody just sitting around church, you know what I mean? Because it's like you're going to follow in the, uh, the footsteps of some foolishness and then find yourself just being another face in the crowd as well as being lost in the crowd, you know, because it's like, the street people are not trying to just come to church. You have to make stuff make sense to them. You know what I mean? You just can't say, oh, I'm coming to church and all your worries will be over. No, no. Like I said, once you get that, um, once you become mentally sound, then you can become spiritually fit because you no longer um, operate in pride and arrogance and ignorance by thinking you know everything there is to know. And so it's like once you start hum humbling yourself, and like I said, first things first, recognizing that something mentally ain't right. You know, and I ain't talking about uh, mental health issues and all that stuff. I'm just talking about somebody that's doing wrong and trying to justify it. Simple as that. And I'm not knocking nobody. You know what I mean? Because my videos and the things I teach is for the streets. You know what I mean? Because church people, they already got in their mindset. They already uh, have arrived. And so there's nothing more that they need to do. And sit and marvel at, uh, uh, you know, somebody every Sunday, you know, and God just sitting there like, hey, over here, what about me? It's not about him or her or them. It's about, <laughs> what did it say? It's not about us. It's about Jesus. And that's one thing that's not taught. You know what I mean? Because everybody trying to do all they can to please a pastor. And, you know, I was there, too. Once I woke up, I was gone. Like that man said it uh, Friday, he said once, I thought I would never leave the, the hood, but once I got my money, I was gone. And, and I thought I would never leave my church. But once I became spiritual and saw what was really going on, the limitations that take place and the, the ignorance that man taught another man and all this arrogance and pride and just bullheadedness and anybody think they know anything, get out of that church real quick because you're gonna go nowhere real fast you know get you somebody that's humble and that's, that's want to grow as well because i don't care how long you've been in christ you still gonna uh have to grow because you're never gonna really um come to a place where this this all all i need to do is just sit back and wait on the lord and be a good courage no there's so much learning and changing that needs to take place i've been in christ almost 20 years and it's been a heck of a ride but I'm ready to go the rest of the way because I know what it takes and I'm willing to go all whatever it takes. I'm going all the way. So therefore I can do all I can to not only help myself, but to help others. 
So I just want to share that real quick. First things first. Peace.